Harbor Hawks down the Katuit Kettleers 4 to 1 here at Lowell Park on this beautiful Friday evening. Hi everybody, welcome into Hawk Talk. Lyle Goldstein joined alongside Chris Lucy and Robert Marcello. And Chris, let's start with you. The Harbor Hawk pitching was phenomenal tonight. Started off by the Harbor Hawk starter in right-hander Houston Roth out of Ole Miss who went four innings giving up just one earned run on three hits. Absolutely, and the key for Roth today was just pitching to contact. He's not a big strikeout guy, but was able to sit around the low to mid 90s and pitch around the outer parts of the zone and just force guys to try and put the bat on the ball. But because he has that velocity and some good moving stuff as well, a four pitch guy, he was able to just force contact outs and get the Harbor Hawks through the Katua Kettleers lineups very quickly. Robert, speaking of velocity, the relievers tonight, Hayden Kettler out of Baylor comes in, throws four scoreless innings, no earned runs, and then Gavin Hollowell comes in, throws 98 miles an hour at one point. Fastball sitting in the mid to high 90s all night long. What did you see out of the bullpen tonight? Well, they definitely mowed down uh, the door there, really did a really good job. Really effective pitchers, definitely getting ahead of the count. Um, at the top of the broadcast, we talk about, as a pitcher, you always want to be ahead of guys because it makes it a little easier. Pitching doing their job tonight, and the offense certainly doing more of the same. They put up four runs, two of them via long ball. First off, I'll start with you, Chris, on the Todd Lott opposite field home run. Well, Todd Lott comes in about six foot four, well over 200 pounds, so you expect the power to be there, and he put it on full display tonight, getting all of that offering from the Katuit Kettleers right-hander to start things off and just sent it yard. So hopefully for Harbor Hawks fans, you get to see more of the same out of Lott, and he becomes a threat that is known throughout the Cape Cod League. And then Chris, Trevor Hover comes up and puts up a home run of his own out to right field, along with an RBI double as well. Two RBIs on the night, two hits. Heck of a day for the Sun Devil. He definitely did a really good job. And like Lott's first home run, it really looked like it was just going to be a fly ball. Well, his home run was a moonshot. You could tell right off the bat it was gone. Harbor Hawks doing it all tonight. Our own field reporter, Danielle Terzer, caught up with head coach Chad Gassman after the game. Thanks, guys. Coach Gassman with me here. Coach, for a team that you cautioned at the beginning of the game to have a really strong offense, potentially one of the best here, what did you? What made you guys successful tonight? Well, we pitched well, and um, we still did some things that we got to do better at, but we're just getting used to our team. But they tried to do some things offensively, and they, were pretty, they stole third pretty easy at one time. So they still did some things on the base pass that we got to fix. But um, our pitching staff was really good. We didn't give up many freebies, and we missed a lot of bats, struck a lot of guys out. I was really pleased with all three guys tonight. Three games in, three guys have hit home runs. What does that tell you? It means they're good baseball players. And uh, in the Cape, they're supposed to be really good baseball players. So we, we knew Lott had some power. It was good to see that he hit the ball far. We knew Halvers got some pretty good pop. Who else hit a home run? Uh, Just two today? Game, yeah. Two okay, today. so three in three games. Yeah, that's that's good. And Chatham tomorrow, what can we expect on the road there? Well, Chatham's a fun place to play. Um, and um, we throw Mar to Mar, Travis Marr from Clemson, and I'm hoping we'll just see the same thing. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Danny. Harbor Hawks back at it tomorrow night out at Veterans Field in Chatham, Massachusetts, where they'll take on the Chatham Anglers and a loaded squad out there. I'll ask you guys both real quick, starting with you, Chris, keys to the game tomorrow night. Keys to the game are just continued aggression from the Harbor Hawks pitching staff. They went after the strike zone each of these past two games. They come away with two wins after walking seven in the first game. They've walked less than five in these two games combined since. So Hyannis just needs to continue being aggressive on the pitcher's mound, going after the strike zone, and making guys either – get contact and send it to the outfield or just swing and miss altogether. Robert, quickly your two cents on keys to the game tomorrow night. I think I've noticed one thing in these two wins, two wins. The Hard Rock's been very patient at the plate. I think the first game they were kind of chasing a little bit, really didn't know what to expect the first game. Continuing to stay back on the baseball, being able to drive, and as well being able to continue to pitch. Harbor Hawks move to two and one on the year, looking to win their third contest in as many attempts tomorrow night and start an official winning streak, streak out at Chatham. Talk to you guys then.